I served in the Canadian Armed Forces for 22 years as a combat engineer. Canadians have long answered the call to duty in various capacities around the world. More than 650,000 men and women from Canada and Newfoundland served during World War I, and among them were an estimated 4,000 Aboriginal people who voluntarily joined in the Canadian military. In this conflict, 61,000 were killed and another 172,000 were wounded. More than 1 million Canadians and Newfoundlanders served in the military during World War II. Among the ranks that served were at least 3,000 Aboriginal Canadians who volunteered. More than 45,000 Canadians gave their lives and another 55,000 were wounded. During the Korean War, more than 26,000 Canadians served on land, at sea, and in the air during this bitter conflict in a rugged land so far from home. Although a final figure of participants was not reported, it is likely that several hundred were Indigenous. Sadly, 516 Canadians would lose their lives. Over the many peacetime years, Canadian Armed Forces personnel have served in many UN peacekeeping missions in conflict areas around the world, where many Indigenous veterans were among the ranks. In more recent years, Many Indigenous Canadians served alongside of Canadian Armed Forces members and saw hazardous duty in Afghanistan. During our country's 2001 to 2014 military efforts in that war-torn land. More than 40,000 Canadian Armed Forces members served in the Afghanistan theater of operation. 158 Canadian soldiers died in Afghanistan. Indigenous peoples of Canada have long been woven into the fabric of the Canadian Armed Forces.